skill was recognized by his grade school teachers who told his parents that he should focus on art. How right they were. Paul exemplifies the talents of students, many of whom are here now, who have cultivated their skills, pursued their dreams, and achieved renowned success. Congratulations, Paul. Beautiful people have gone before us, and I am me. Thank you so much for the honor. It really is unexpected. Uh, I thought this was a Russian fishing ex exhibition, and I was going to have to click on the link. But uh, it's real, and I'm back in New Jersey. Uh, the last time I was on this stage was 1980 in a battle of the bands. Uh, I don't know who won. I don't think they really had winners or losers. Just the joy of performance, but uh, music being part of my life too. Um, I have to find my notes. Excuse me. Just give me one second. So big changes since 1981. Places bigger. Uh, the faces though are just as friendly. Um, I, I love the community. Uh, I still love the taste of the water of Hunterdon County. Uh, I still have family here. Part of this school, I think my, my nephew is a junior, so I still have anchors here in New Jersey. And I'm very appreciative that uh, they, the community group has chosen to recognize me. Um, I'm one of seven children. Uh, my dad was a stonemason. Uh, if anybody knows what stonemasons do, they, they basically ruin their bodies by the time they're 60. But, after work, every day, my dad would go down into the wood shop and begin making furniture. He made fine Chippendale reproductions, uh, museum quality. If he wasn't making furniture, he was writing a history. Um, he's a published author, a historian, or he was painting a picture. He was an artist. 
that he wasn't relaxing uh, with a grandchild on his knee. He was playing his mandolin. He was also a musician. So that, as an example of what a person could do in their life, sort of set my path started in the right way. Uh, yes, he did heavy labor, uh, blue collar all the way, but at the same time, he was able to express himself uh, in other ways, in other times. My father took the advice of those great school teachers and he bought an entire artist studio uh, at an auction. And that included Windsor and Newton paints, canvases out the ears, uh, easels, drawing tables. All this mass of an entire lifetime that an older fellow had, had accumulated and then passed away and went to auction. My father purchased every bit of it. And at the age of 13, <laughs> I had a full working studio. Um, that is unheard of, and I've never met anyone else whose parents weren't already established artists that had that access. But I did, and I benefited from it. Uh, there was nothing that I wanted to do in the arts that I didn't already have the tools to do it. So it's, it was a rarity, and I appreciate uh, everything that he did in that moment and at that auction. However, um, there's, besides my family, um, my brothers are here, they're the other two blue shirt guys, um, James and Mark. Um, the support of my family to uh, help me along my way. Uh, James uh, worked in the factory for years, and he would slip me money as he drove me to the train to catch the ride to Philly. He supported me, kept me in food, even during the semester that I lived underneath my studio desk. I couldn't afford my apartment. I actually lived at the school with 24-hour access because I wanted to be an illustrator that bad. <laughs> it, was, it was awful. Don't do it. If you're not <laughs> Don't do it. Um, teachers from my grade school, like Mrs. Kadiska, uh, Mr. Lee, Mr. Lesak, Mr. Stahl, these were all different facets of uh, history teachers, uh, English teachers. They all encouraged me within the arts, but also they opened my mind to other possibilities and how to begin to filter the world around me, literature, uh, how to filter that through my experience and out into creative expression, whether it was singing, music, painting, sculpture, writing. As I came into high school, B.J. Fedor, who actually happened to be Miss Sarah my first year, got married, became Miss Fedor, encouraged me very much. She was able to allow me to take all my free periods in her classroom, so I worked on my portfolio dil diligently. Mr. Cosgrove, the physics teacher, understood my innumeracy. I, I'm terrible with numbers. Uh, I'm sure I'm on some sort of spectrum somewhere uh, as far as not being able to really do math in my head, but he understood that I love physics. And I was not copying out when I actually dropped his class, but I dropped his class in order to take another art class. And I spent four periods a day in the studio working on my portfolio to get into the University of the Arts. Like a fool, I only applied to one college because I, I wanted to get into that illustration program, but I was accepted and uh, I went on to graduate from the University of the Arts. Neighbors, Gene Moses, Carl Nielsen, Rule Tunley, Ted and Marianne Beardsley, the Hunts from Little York. These were all people that saw that I had potential and helped me along. There was no innate talent. There was a desire to be better, and they saw that. 
They helped me along one way or another. When I got to college, I became a studio assistant to uh, Anthony Visco, who was a uh, uh, sculptor in the classical sense. He actually teaches in Florence uh, and also New York, but uh, I was his studio assistant working on a number of big installations, as well as uh, my mentor and friend, Hiroshi Murata. Uh, I was his studio assistant for a number of years in the late 80s and early 90s, and he saw it in his heart to actually send me to grad school out of his own pocket. Now, if that isn't being supported by others in order to achieve my goals, I don't know what it is. Uh, I've never experienced that sort of blessing in my life, but I look back now and I see I was blessed by so many people along the way to get where I am now. So that when I teach within the schools that I teach, my, my uh, college classes, I see each of these kids along that path and that I'm in their life at that moment in order to help them on their journey. So that is my role. And I take that very seriously. And I consider you, my community, the ones that taught me how to do this. Because you support me all those years ago. And even now. So that I have to reciprocate. It is, it is my turn to help others. And uh, I'm fortunate enough to be able to do that. Um, the schools that I work with are, are great. Um, can't beat it. It's, it's a good gig if you can get it. Uh, but at the same time, it's not stopping what I'm doing. I'm, I'm working on animation. I'm working with, uh, actually, I have a little gift for the school here, uh, which is I have a uh, mini comic that I did back in 2011 that was uh, is actually a one-act opera that I'm still working on. So I'm trying to expand my, my creativity from art into uh, music and drama. So uh, don't, don't let anybody tell you that you can't, because you can't. You just haven't done it yet. 